Hi there, my name is Jeff Gunn and I'm going to be teaching in the uh, plein air, one of the teachers for uh, OSA doing plein air work this spring. And I thought I'd share with you some insights about um, the, the palette, the plein air palette, how to hold it and how to organize it. Uh, this one comes with the typical French easel that you see right here, so-called French easel, because it was designed for the first French Impressionists for carrying out there. It's like a pink box with legs, and it comes with a palette inside. And uh, I see some people trying to hold it like this. And that puts a lot of pressure from your fingertips down to your hand down to your wrist, all the way to your elbow. All the ligaments that hold that up are straining. So over time that gets very tiring. But if you hold it like this, with your thumb through the hole, it just rests. I don't even have to hold it. It just rests on your arm without any, very, with very little effort. So the next thing, that was simple enough, wasn't it? The next thing I'd like to point out is you can see in this palette that's been cleaned off, not very well, but it's mostly been cleaned off, you can see the way I lay out my palette. I have a warm and a cool red. Sometimes that varies. We can go into that in person later. A warm and a cool yellow and warm and cool blues. And then I have white over here. Sometimes I have titanium buff above so this usually is titanium white sometimes zinc white and above here titanium buff and uh, and if I use a black it's down in this corner the idea is to keep all of your your tube uh, your first layout of colors along the first inch all the way around well around the sides not in front of you because then you're going to be scuffing your your hands here and leave this open for doing the work the work of mixing that's where that's where everything happens is in the middle here it's like in your kitchen you don't want to be having to reach over uh, bowls of broccoli just to chop your onions so keep them on the outside and then do your work in the middle and often you need to re uh, rearrange things so uh, right now you can see the way I left it the last time I mixed. I just recently scraped a bunch of it off. <coughs> so I hope that's helpful to you.